Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with another scrapbooking process video and I am out of my 12 by 12 pattern papers. So I went back to my craft consortium uh, wood grain paper pad and pulled in the last uh, paper of this specific wood grain, which is the one I've been using a lot for this collection. And I'm going to use that as my 12 by 12. Um, and now it, I'm just playing with scraps. <laughs> I am going to try to get one more page this month out of this collection because if you're paying attention to the kit share in the beginning of the month, there is uh, one product that you have not seen all month long and it's because I'm hoarding it for something special as my last layout. Um, so you haven't seen it at all this month, um, but I don't think I'm going to use it with any of the stuff from this collection. I think I'm gonna use it with a different collection. So this page is the last page uh, for the P13 products specifically. So everything I have left here, I'm really gonna try to use as much as possible on this page. Um, I don't have a lot of whole, a whole lot of ephemera left over, um, but I do have a decent amount of word stickers there. So I'm gonna try to get those used up on this page. Um, but same as the <laughs> normal last page with scraps, it's a game of figuring out how I'm going to do my layers with really weirdly, oddly, shaped <laughs> scraps here so you can kind of see what i'm going for i really want the the minty paper to be a large rectangular mat and i really want the piece i gutted from that last layout of this uh tan rainbow print to be this kind of uh, vertical rectangular mat so i'm just trying to figure out how to piece them together where they don't look <laughs> like a bunch of different pieces glued together, which they clearly are, as you can see, but I'm just trying to do it strategically so you don't notice it. <laughs> so I'm just going to trim up a couple of these re uh, irregular shaped edges, um, but I think it turned out pretty well. You really can't see it's a bunch of scraps glued together at this point, and this is how my paper layers are going to start for this page. I have two four by sixes. I did trim them down a little bit um, just because there's empty space and I'm working with limited products here now that we're working with scraps. So I'm just trying to figure out uh, how I can layer around these weirdly shaped photos with weirdly shaped scraps. I did mat them both, or I will mat them both in white. Um, and now I'm just trimming one of the scraps into a tag <laughs> uh, so I can get that piece of a scrap used up. There is a decent, not decent, there, but there is a scrap of the floral that I gutted from matting <laughs> my photo on the last page that I'll try to get on here. Um, but yeah, it's it's just trying to figure out how to use up the rest of these products. <laughs> I have three chipboard pieces left, so I thought that was kind of nice. I could have one in each of my visual triangles if I do have three embellishment clusters. Um, I like the idea of this tag being down here by the photo and the doily. I love the addition of that doily. Um, but I end up moving some things around once I figure out how I want to, to do my uh, embellishment cluster. So the tag instead goes to the top there. I think that gives me a really nice spot to add a cluster. And now I decided to add my last embellishment tag where the other tag was to have an embellishment cluster here in front of the doily. Um, so with those two areas, I kind of decide I could go in a diagonal theme and go to the bottom right hand corner of the page, but I kind of feel like I did a lot of diagonal themes a lot this month. So I decided to go to the bottom left hand corner and not do a whole cluster, but just give me some uh, focal point of interest there. So that's what I decided to do instead. But I like how it's looking. I'm going to start gluing some stuff down. I'm matting those photos in the white here. Um, but yeah, th there's not a whole lot of thought going into this page other than um, it's kind of just a puzzle for me to figure out what I have left and how I can use it. So trimming these mats up here really quick. I do want them slightly overlapped, but not covering up important pieces of the photo. This is clearly at the end of our wedding ceremony where Marcus and I are walking back out uh, the aisle. And so <laughs> this is a very good feeling moment for both of us. We both were, um, I mean, I feel most people are stressed out before their wedding just because they're worried they're going to like, me at least, maybe not everybody. I was worried I was going to like trip on my dress and fall or I'm going to say something wrong during the vows or, or uh, vows. And I, I don't know. I just, I don't like all eyes on me. And I knew that was going to be the case today. <laughs> and I already talked in a previous video about how actually when the day arrived, the day of, I was very chill and very like, not worried about it during the ceremony, which was a pleasant surprise because I thought I would pass out from stress. Um, but 
this moment where we're walking out down the aisle, especially the one where our backs are to the camera, we're talking to each other, and we're like, oh my gosh, we did it. Like, it's done. Like, we're married. Like, the ceremony's over, and we survived, and nothing, you know, bad or awkward happened. <laughs> um, so I did just want to mention that and have that be a sentiment of this page, because it's a very victorious moment. We're very excited that we're married, but we're, <laughs> we're almost more happy that um, we got through the ceremony without any, like, I don't know, faux pas or something like that. So, um a fun page to kind of end the wedding ceremony this month. <laughs> um, this is the last layout, I believe, of the actual wedding ceremony, so I am very happy I got to use this P13 kit and got all the pages I wanted to documented with it. There's still tons and tons and tons of wedding photos to come, but I'm glad at least this section of my uh, wedding pages I got to do in coordinating type embellishments since they were all the same kind of event. Um, but that's pretty much the topic of these photos and now I'm going in with those chipboard elements trying to figure out where I want them I know I want them in three separate areas kind of creating a visual triangle They end up being kind of closer together than I would ideally like to for a visual triangle But I wanted one in each of these three clusters um, I end up going in with the wood veneer hearts at the end of the page and create a more uh, uniform visual triangle with those instead so it doesn't bother me so much that the visual triangle of these chipboard pieces aren't as spaced out as I would like. <laughs> um, but I'm really happy and I'm determined to get those used up and I did so <laughs> I'm satisfied. It was really this round pink floral one in the middle that was giving me some problems because I wanted to really nestle it against something but every time I tried to tuck it in the corner of the photo or something it would cover up or make my photo look weird so I settled on it just being on the top section of that tag and I'll fill in the gap of the doily underneath it with some word stickers and I think that was a good compromise for the issues I was having with that embellishment piece um, and the last one's going to go here at the bottom and I'm just going to layer a word sticker over top of that one since there's not really a motif there's the one flower in the corner of the other chipboard piece but um, it's kind of lends itself well to having a word sticker overlapping it so i did just add some foam behind the end of the word sticker that overlapped that one it says a part of my life which i thought was perfect and then i'm just layering three of them above the one photo of us walking down the aisle <laughs> i don't know who we're both looking at at this point um, but we're both looking at someone in the audience that i think is sweet <laughs> um, but I just did proud together and my companion in that cluster and then one in the top there that just says the best, which I thought was appropriate. Um, I kind of got stuck on my title. I knew I wanted my title to be we did it because that was like the big sentiment of this page was like the ceremony's done and we did it. Um, but I didn't have any in like a gold or a white alpha in the letters I needed. So I went in with this little freckled fawn tile alpha um, in white and gold and I think even though it's smaller and more subtle I think it's really nice and it goes with the style of the page so I'm okay with that I'm glad I at least got that specific title on this page <laughs> and now I'm going in with some gold Heidi Swap color shine um, or I was about to and then I realized I did want to add some of the hearts everything was very pastel-y on this page most of the layouts this month are very pastel with all of these light colors um, and so when they look too airy I really like pulling in this raw wood veneer to have like a nice grounding moment with the raw wood. So I did add those into three areas and you can see how I spaced out these three clusters of those hearts that it makes my visual triangle eye happy because <laughs> they're more spaced out and more framing uh, the photos. So I like how that ended up laying and now I'm going in with the gold high swap color shine just add a little bit of gold. I want gold on every page and really on this page the only gold was the twine and the little tile alpha so i liked that i got to use the splatter too but here are the close-ups thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for the last page of this month where i use the mystery item i've been hoarding from my kit um i'll see you in the next one bye